Authority forecast. Very clear skies and slightly above normal temperatures continue across the basin. This is the live look at Odessa early on your Wednesday morning, the day after 4th of July. Skies still very clear of clouds, very clear skies continuing not just this morning, but throughout the afternoon despite maybe some cloud development, a slight chance of a few isolated thunderstorms in the higher terrain, but places like Pecos, most likely rain free and very warm satellite and radar showing that because of a broad area of high pressure with a ring of fire kind of pattern in terms of the cloud development, the low level clouds in East Central Texas, followed by some high level clouds with some rain showers in the panhandle. Again, not affecting us here in terms of any activity in the basin that will continue. And despite the skies being clearer of clouds compared to the past few mornings, it still is a little bit humid and a little bit breezy, 10 mile per hour, sustained wind right now in the tall city, south south easterly breeze in eastern areas of the basin, but places like Van Horn and also in Alpine, winds coming in a little bit more from the south and west. So western areas, far western areas of the basin, southwesterly winds not only warming things up, but drying things out. Meanwhile, in eastern areas, south easterly winds providing the warming of the atmosphere, but still keeping things a little humid, pretty muggy, mostly clear skies in the low to mid 70s for your morning commute. Currently sitting at 75, dropping another couple degrees before warming up to 75 with sunny skies by 8 a.m. Mid to upper 80s by noon. I think we'll warm up to right around the 95 degree mark with ample sunshine by the afternoon. 95 is our average high, folks, so not too bad. I think we'll reach right around 97, so slightly above normal in terms of the highest temperatures of the day in and around Midland and Odessa. Still mostly clear skies with temperatures only cooling off in the low to mid 90s by dinner time around 7, 8 o'clock. So still very warm out there even later this evening. Much of Texas and yeah, including the basin starting off in the 60s and 70s, warming up in the high 80s, 90s and triple digits a little bit Hotter in places like El Paso, likely above the 100 degree mark, a little bit cooler in places like Midland, Odessa, right around 97, 98, in around Midland and Odessa. Again, I'm thinking more like 97. Mostly clear skies overnight, low temperatures in the 70s, pretty mild and pretty humid with winds dying down, but still coming in from the south southeast, right around 5 to 15 miles per hour generally. Chances for rain pretty low, except some isolated storms in the Davis Mountains and just north and west of our viewing area. But as we head late tonight into tomorrow morning, more clouds and with a slight chance for rain developing just north of our viewing area, that indicates the moisture in the atmosphere. So tomorrow morning, very humid, but that high pressure system still in place, allowing for sunshine and still very warm air tomorrow at 97 once again with winds coming in once again from the south southeast right around 10 to 15 miles per hour. So very similar conditions for today, tomorrow and Friday, maybe slightly sunnier and warmer. That trend continuing as we head into the weekend, slightly drying out, but still remaining humid and becoming much sunnier, hotter and drier as we head to early next week with a bit of a breeze from time to time.